Tonight, our firefighters from right here in the Houston area are out fighting the state's biggest wildfire on record. That's right. The Smokehouse Creek Fire is one of four fires burning in the Texas Panhandle right now. In all, well over one million acres have burned. KPRCT's Gage Golding spent the day with our local firefighters as well as with some Texans who lost everything they own. He reports for us tonight about 45 minutes north of Amarillo in Fritch, Texas. Tonight we know that roughly four to 500 homes across the Texas Panhandle have been destroyed by these fires. Many families coming home to see this nothing but ash and now their focus is shifting to whether these fires will pick up with winds speeding up and relative humidity dropping. In, in my opinion, we're going to see some action. That's bad news for the Texas Panhandle. That's already scorched by a handful of fires. The Windy Deuce Fire nearing 150,000 acres burned and the Smokehouse Creek Fire, which is now the largest ever to burn in the Lone Star State, well over 1 million acres. Tuesday night was the worst the worst feeling I've ever had on a on a fire. Charles Clark is a volunteer firefighter in the town of Stinnett, his home destroyed by the Smokehouse Creek fire. Been kind of a surreal experience. He lives just two streets over from where 83 year old Joyce Blankenship died in her home. That same day, Charles yeah. gave up saving his home to save his neighbors. It's a decision that it wasn't an easy one to make, but it's it was the right decision. Just 20 minutes away in Fritch, Texas, the Windy Deuce fire destroying nearly every home on this street. It wasn't much of a trailer to begin with, but it was home to me. Connie Jocelyn rescuing her dog from her home just moments before it was engulfed in flames. It was like a tornado started. Down the street, the Johnsons are sifting through the ashes, literally looking for any keepsake. You've been here all these years and you've seen some of the fires before and they got close. But it's gone now. Meanwhile, Houston area firefighters are working to put out hot spots in areas already burned by the fires, just like the Johnson's home. Like this has been going on for days, but again, this is that heavy timber and it's just so saturated with fire and heat and it's just holding up. I can barely told it right, not very long. Governor Abbott visiting this area on Friday. One of the hot topics is using airplanes and helicopters to drop water on this fire. I asked HFD Captain Moreno about this. He says that the wind speeds are just too high for that kind of firefighting technique to be effective. Now here's the real concern. Forecasts have winds only getting stronger moving throughout the weekend in Fritch, Texas. Gage Golding, KPRC 2 News.